Welcome to a mainly DYI.com video. So today I'm going to make this cute little give thanks ornament. So I've printed out a sentiment for my ornament and I am, uh, I want to back that with something. Okay. And um, so I want my back to be something nice. So I am going to um, pick out a, a uh, card here that I saw that I liked. Uh, hang on just one second. So I thought that would make a nice back to my ornament. Um, because I want to stiffen up my copy paper, so this is going to work really nicely for me. So I'm going to glue this cardstock. Um, this one that I'm using uh, right now is Scotch Permanent Glue Stick. I find that works just fine. Um, you know, you want to use a glue stick that's uh, good for crafts, not uh, just your regular school glue, because that won't adhere for very long. So. Um, putting down a, a layer, I I don't like using liquid glue because it usually soaks through my papers and so that that's kind of a mess. But I'm saturating that cardstock fairly heavily with my glue stick, and then I'm going to put my sentiment right on top. Okay. And then I'm going to take um, the one of my rings that I was using, and I'm going to take a um, pencil and just kind of trace out around that. And that's going to be my cutting line. So I'm just going to um, take a pair of scissors and cut around that line. Okay, so I, I've got my sentiment prepped for my work, and I am just going to uh, put that under something heavy so it can dry a little bit while I am working on the rest of my project. So to do my crochet, I am uh, using a PVC pipe that was 3 inch that I had sliced off by my plumber guy. Um, I asked him if he could find something for me and this is what he came up with. So he just made a thin slice from PVC. What What is really nice about this is it's lightweight. This is another thing that could be used as an option. Uh, when I get done with my my tape, I could use this inside piece. So next we're going to um, do single crochets around that. So, so I'm going to make a slip knot. Um, you can check out my videos on how to do that. Okay. So I made a little slip knot there for you. And then we're just going to do single crochets around the hook. Um, you can look at my videos on single crochet to see how to do that. But I am um, just going to kind of hold on to the, the tail kind of um, to get it out of my way because what I want to do is I want to crochet over it so it will get buried and I won't have to worry about it. So I am putting my hook down through my circle bringing my yarn up around through. Okay so I end up with two loops on my circle. Okay and then I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook and pull it through both loops. So that's my first one, and I'm just going to pull my end kind of tight. Okay, so I'm going to make another one. So I'm holding my tail against my ring, putting my hook down through the ring, picking up my yarn from the back side, and then I'll wrap it and go through two. Just like I would normally do a single in a, a stitch or a magic circle or, or anything. Um, you can crochet right over the top of something. So I am going to just continue to crochet around. I do want to try to get um, consistent even stitches because it will look, look better if you can do that. 
and I'm just using worsted weight yarn. This one happens to be Red Heart Super, uh, Super Saver, and the color I have here is called Coral. That's a little surprise to me. It looks more like a pumpkin spice, but um, it calls it Coral, so um, you have to go with what the manufacturer says, but uh, I just chose that to be my pumpkin shade. So I'm going to continue around um, doing my single crochets. Okay. I'm working to get good coverage, so I see I have a little bit more I need to go. So I'm satisfied that I have good coverage here, so I am just going to do a slip stitch in my first uh, single crochet. So I'm putting my, my hook in under the what looks like the chain stitch, wrapping my hook around pulling it up through both layers and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to snip that off. Okay, so now I, I need to work in that tail. Okay, and so to work in my tail I'm going to uh, use this uh, flexible needle and I am just going to uh, slide it in underneath. You can check out my review on uh, yarn needles uh, to see what, what one might work for you. And here I'm just going to back stitch a little bit. Um, okay, so I think that's that's good and buried under there. So um, I have my, my ring completed. So I am ready to make my stem and I am just going to use a pipe cleaner otherwise known as a chenille stem. So I'm going to come about to the middle and uh, what I'm doing is I'm making my stem. So I'm going to say about about that, that wide for my stem. And I'm going to say it's going to be about that long so I'm just going to bend up one side, bend up the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to um, take my chenille stem and poke it under one of my uh, chain stitches right up to the top of my stem and then I'm going to do the other one. I'm just going to skip maybe two or three of my singles. Um, just simply attach it like that. Nice and simple. Okay, so I'm going to bend my, my stem back into position a little bit and maybe I even want to give a little bit of a curve. That's the nice thing about a chenille stem. You can uh, manipulate it however you want. So I want a kind of a curly vine so I'm just going to um, take a um, pencil or a marker or something of that nature and just wrap it around. slide it out and then I can spread out my curl a little bit. So we're going to curl the other one um, just wrapping it around a pen or what have you. Okay and then I can slide it out and then I can manipulate that to be you know however I want it to be. So I have my sentiment all prepared, so I am just going to um, glue that in. And this time I'm going to use some liquid glue. Put my glass sheet that I like to work on down. And I am going to um, take my pumpkin here. And uh, this is Elmer's Craft Bond Quick Dry Glue. It's um, a fairly thick glue, um, so I am going to... Uh, Run that glue along the edge, and I'm not liking how that's that's coming out for me. Let's see. Okay, so I I don't care for how I got a blob of glue, so I am taking just a uh, this is just a kid's uh, paintbrush. I use a lot of these for crafts, and I'm going to go ahead and make a blue blob on my my glass plate. And I will uh, paint on my glue. It gives me a lot more control over uh, what I'm getting. Because even though glue says it dries clear, a lot of times you end up with a little bit of 
shine to it. And you, you can look at my video on glue boo-boos uh, to see um, a trick for hiding it if you do have shiny glue that you don't want. Um, I have a little trick for uh, making it look like it's supposed to be shiny and glittery. So uh, check out that video as well. It's called uh, Glue Boo-Boos. So I'm happy with how I've got that glued. I just slide my plate over a little bit. Uh, put my sentiment down. And I am just going to flip this over without getting it all over my fingers. And I'll use the stem for that. That works great. And then I'll just kind of position it on my, my sentiment. That looks good to me. I am going to just push it down, hold it down for a few minutes. Um, and while I'm kind of holding it down, I'm playing with my vines. Stretching those out. And I'd probably leave that overnight to set, um, just just to dry overnight. So I, I want to make sure I clean up my glue mess. Okay, so I have my pumpkin all made, and I decided I want to give it a little bit of extra shine and glitter glimmer rather. Um, so I'm actually going to use a Wink Stella pen. Uh, you can use, um, I think the other one's called Aqua Shimmer. Under some water um, to get the rest of that glue out and let it dry. And so on the back side I have, have my paper there. So, um, you know, that that's something a little pretty if somebody sees the back side. Outline all the letters. Kind of do it right in the center um, because we want our letters to be highlighted. So when that dries, there's going to be a little bit of um, glittery shimmer there. Oh, I think I see it. There we go. Um, so um, that's just going to add a little sparkle um, to our piece. <laughs> 